welcome back in the cave for yet another uh, video um, today we're gonna tie Stevenson so um, yeah it's gonna be interesting nice uh, salmon fly I haven't tied that in a while so it will be fun okay let's begin okay so let's do this let's start with uh, tinsel uh, in the back I use uh, extra small Bevis is the brand of it. So let me see. Just securing the tin cell properly. So adding some wax. Go with, uh, I think, four, four turns maybe. One, two, four. I think that's sufficient. Uh, not the focus I noticed. So let me solve that. Yeah. Perfect. Just tying in the tin cell. So I can get the leftovers. Have the blue floss. Separate it. Piece I want. There we go. Just securing the floss in the hook. Keep track on that. So, gloves on. Then, winding a few wraps of the floss backwards.
are securing it. Tying it in. can find a decent topping. I'm gonna go with a uh, more open uh, fly, so I'm gonna aim for the topping and tail not to meet, so I'm gonna have a gap. Just tying it in. Nothing strange with that. And I yes, gonna remove two fibers that you didn't want to play game. And there we are. Open tail. And then the topping gonna be like that. And a bit of gap in between. So and we have the next step, ostrich herd. 
Come on. Erase the hard. So oh, I almost forgot it's actually Indian cow before and then it's the herd. So I need to focus. backwards and then we continue with the heart. I need to get the new one. It was dry. Dry stuff is never good stuff. So let's try this one. find a third pearl.
But before that, I'm actually going to change the Indian crew. I'm not pleased with their position currently. And if it's not good, just reset it. Always. So. position so let's start with the hull again the hull from hell start the camera so oh this was a nice hull oh my god this again not really pleased with further back so that's the issue now your fingers.
have silver twist. So I'm gonna use the twist of the uh, tinsel. This pattern speaks about orange floss to start with. So let me see. So let's start with orange floss. Do it without the gloves. And there it is. So Just tight wraps towards the herd, then back again, tight wraps. And then we just gonna secure it. There we are. Kill. So I'm gonna have a lot of colors in this one. So I actually have three different orange uh, tones. So uh, one light on uh, the floss, as you can see. And then a bright one on the hackle and a bit darker orange on the silver. Backwards to apply, then seal fur. So, actually, I'm gonna start here. So, I'm
this quite a lot and I'm gonna brush it out I'm gonna have a lively body I think that's sufficient. Now to the brush. Good. Beast. So, tinsel time. What's a lot of fibers in the way let me see if I can just make room for the tinsel It's a bit of silk fur and stuff all over the place, but it doesn't matter.
paste with that term. So, moving. looks better and we have the cock tackle so, just following the tin cell Camera died, so I had to restart it. I think I need to buy a quicker memory card. Uh, there we go. So I'm just securing everything here. So, cutting the leftover. So next step, uh, the blue front tackle. I actually took a bit lighter blue uh, in the front. Just pulling the fibers backwards, nothing strange. Just want to <laughs> cut this one off. There we go. So now the body is ready. Looks nice. So 
then we start with the wing. So let me find some long jungle cock feathers. sort out all the stuff we need for the wing but I think it's going that way yeah While I'm preparing the feathers, I'm gonna pause the video, otherwise, it's gonna be way too long. And then I'm gonna start it when it's time to tie it in. So, um, let's continue with the jungle cock uh, feather that we need to attach. First of all, I need to wax the thread. Otherwise, we can't do much. I'm gonna make a little bit of gap. <laughs> hey, buddy. My dog is hungry. He reminds me not to forget him. It's 30 minutes left until he, his dinner time. Okay. So.
okay. Easier when the side feathers are in place. Because if it goes too low now, it will go even further down later. So I prefer it to be a bit more upright. it's gonna push down a little bit like that okay so it's gonna varnish and let it dry and go up and give my dog some food I might continue after that or I wait until uh, tomorrow morning new day so Sunday today so uh, I thought we should uh, finish uh, this fly so next step is to apply tippets on the sides let's start with the first pair of two There we are. Spot on. So, we're gonna find out the other pair. Next stitch. And then, uh, varnish the head. Let it dry a bit before I cut off the leftovers of the feather. Time for the next pair of um, tippet. I already added the one on my side, so uh, to shorten the video. So now it's time for the one on this side. So first of all, I'm gonna add some more wax to the thread. Then I'm gonna place T 
tip it. And I want it. Sliding down. I don't want that. So. Pretty pleased with that. So uh, just gonna wax the thread uh, and varnish a bit. Don't so wonder I use Vanyard's silly uh, uh, varnish. Uh, transparent and black, of course. So a few wraps more uh, varnish, let it dry out, and then we cut the leftovers. Then it's time for a G's on the side, shatter and then a uh, topping. I'm gon gonna omit the horns. Uh, I don't want them on this fly actually. Okay, next step, uh, GC. So I'm gonna have GC on the sides. I prepare my, my side first. Then we have Kotinga of the DGC, then a little bit of dry time, and then we have the topping. And then the fly is finished. There we are. So the other side then. So you just need to measure. Okay. There we are. So I'm just going to pull up the G's in the middle. A little bit. There we are. And then I'm just going to varnish a little bit. Yeah. 
Ethereum. I might actually raise the camera a bit. Since we're going to do toppings and stuff. So, one second. Feather on the side. Just want to make sure I get it correct. I think one feather shifted a bit, so I'm just gonna press it down. Okay. Now I need to unwind a bit. since it was shifting dry a bit and then we do the, the thing I am talking so time for the uh, sides the cheeks so tinga feathers and I'm not using the tinga I'm using pitta what you want to use, kingfisher or whatever or if you got plenty of Kotinga, why not but I don't so Thank you. So the side feather is in place. Left we have the topping. I see the outer focus is dropping out. So let me just add a bit of wax to the thread.
percent. Now it's in the middle. So, what I'm gonna do is just to uh, varnish everything, let it dry, uh, cut all the leftovers, uh, finish the head, then take a picture, and then I'm done. So. That's how you can tie the classic salmon fly uh, Stevenson. Um, yeah, it turned out okay. A nice, you know, big uh, chunk of fly. I like it. It's going to be nice in my uh, cabinet over there. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy the video. Uh, why not uh, take the time to subscribe and try to tie the fly yourself? Uh, add the comments, share the video. Enjoy uh, Sunday. And finally, tomorrow it's work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, that's it. I Stay safe. Your Bye. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. And wild like an animal. Some would say. Japan